Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Prosecutors are filing first degree manslaughter and vehicular homicide charges against a driver involved in a crash near Dolly Farm that killed two Sioux Falls High School students back in May. Court papers say the suspect, 23 year old Tayton Stebbins, was driving 115 miles an hour and ran a red light. He crashed into a car that was turning onto East Arrowhead Parkway, killing a 17 year old and 20 year old. The court documents say Stebbins was nearly three times over the legal alcohol limit and also had cocaine and marijuana in his system. A witness told investigators she saw Stebbins drinking pitchers of beer and doing shots earlier in the night and that he refused a ride home from a sober driver. Stebbins is now in the Minnehaha County Jail. We have an update to a story we first brought to you yesterday morning. A Brandon apartment building has a lot of damage following a fire late Wednesday night. The Brandon Fire Department says flames could be seen coming out of a window when crews arrived. Authorities say everyone was able to get out safely and no one was hurt. However, two pets died in the fire. It took crews a while to put out the fire because it had started in between a first and second floor apartment. Two of the four units in the apartment building are a total loss. The cause is currently unknown. A firefighter had to be rescued during a fire southeast of Mission Thursday morning. Mission Volunteer Fire and Rescue says crews were called to a home in the Hidden Timber area for reports of a fire. Units arriving on scene found smoke and fire coming from the home. As crews were entering the building, a firefighter partially fell through the floor into the basement. They were able to be rescued and no one was hurt. The home was a total loss. Turning to weather now with meteorologist Adam Rutt. Temperatures uh, looking a little warmer today, Adam. Yeah, a little bit warmer. Granted, we got off to a pretty cold and windy start yesterday. We keep the wind, but at least it's not as cold out there. So silver lining to the literal cloud cover that's in place over Sioux Falls. And a lot of it. Well, that's going to gradually try and get out of here as we get through the afternoon. 34 with a look downtown. South wind, though, at 22 miles per hour. So while, yes, we are in the 30s, by and large, East River with a few 20s and a outlier in uh, Phillip at 17, uh, we do still have that wind to the east at 15 to 20 miles per hour that is putting the wind chill in the low 20s. So plan accordingly. If you're headed out East River to the west, though, it's a more tolerable breeze out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's the cloud cover on satellite and radar that's going to gradually get on out of here, temporarily at least, as we head through the afternoon. More cloud cover on the way later tonight with the first of two cold fronts that will move on through the first gives us a small chance for some moisture. The second brings in more chilly air. We'll talk about both and the rest of your seven day forecast coming up. Thanks, Adam. The Gifting for Good event is taking place this weekend throughout the city of Brookings. It brings together local organizations and museums to promote the products they offer in their gift shops. With it being harder to get gifts on time this year, these businesses are making sure community members have everything they need this holiday season. Our uh, shopper has been working really hard to curate one-of-a-kind, unique gifts. Um, we are kind of working hard to be ahead of the game to have what we need. The different locations have items ranging from local food products and local art to toys and games. With one week until Thanksgiving, holiday decorations are going up across Kelloland, including on Minnesota Avenue, where special equipment was brought in to light up a towering tree. It's been known as Dorothy's Tree ever since the 1990s when a Sioux Falls man decorated it for his wife. He wanted the tradition to continue even after they both died. So he set up a trust and a local church makes sure it's decorated every year. This afternoon, Falls Park will be lit up as a winter wonderland. The annual display will feature more than 23 miles of light strings and hundreds of decorated trees and light poles. The city will throw the switch at 5 p.m. and the park will be lit up from 5 to midnight daily with Winter Wonderland running until January 9th. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather here today, 30s and 40s to start the morning. We're looking at highs today, Rapid City area, well into the 50s this afternoon. Sioux Falls likely in the upper 40s and that wind out of the south. We are expecting uh, lessening winds tonight, clouds increasing, maybe some sprinkles in the air tomorrow or a passing flurry in western Kettleland. Overall, though, it looks like the weather forecast is looking a little bit better 
into the forecast for the north there later in the day. I would advertise more wind in the outlook on Sunday. That's definitely a part of that forecast. And right now, it looks like that's going to be at least a big story into Sunday. Monday, still kind of cool compared to where it's been. But uh, overall here, this is the time of year where you can go up and down quite a bit. So sprinkles again on the maps there on your Saturday. And then that wind really blows through Minnesota a little stronger on Sunday afternoon. Let's get to your forecast now. Highs today, 48 Sioux Falls, 45 at Aberdeen. Looking at 50 in Pierre, the seven-day forecast. It looks like we're on our way into the 30s for early next week. A bounce back on Tuesday looks a little better. And then declining into Thanksgiving. We'll wait and see if we get any rain or snow chances there. Right now, just a 20% chance in Aberdeen on Thursday. Quick peek at Pier and Rapid City. Nicer weather on Tuesday. That looks to be a little nice warm up ahead of Thanksgiving, but uh, things are trending colder toward the holiday itself. Find out more details online at kettleland.com and have a great day.